Okay, I've noticed that there's uh, very little information on how to use Trimble Earthworks Volume 2 for a motor grader online, so I'm going to explain what I've learned. First, we're going to talk about horizontal offset, which is the coolest thing on this new system. So, you would choose where my f pointer finger is right there. That's your horizontal offset. Press and hold that. It will open up this screen. Then select alignment at the bottom in the blue. It will then open up this screen. Um, usually the blade will be pointed to the right and you can push the top right of that screen and it'll set you north and south. And then you can zoom in and out on it. And what this is is a top view of the plans so these are your lines on uh, this particular thing is a border wall mexico um, the very far right line is the wall um, the next line would be the edge of footer the next line would be top of slope the next line would be uh toe of slope and then the next two lines or are, are toes or i'm sorry i'm sorry let me re-explain that it would be the wall would be in those first three and then a few foot flat spot to a hinge point and then for top of slope and then slopes down to toe of slope which would be those green lines and it looks like it's got about a three foot flat bottom and then toe of slope again and then the next line looks looks like it's a pink line would be top of slope and the red line would be edge of a b for the road Anyways, you can choose, press and hold any one of those lines, and boom, it'll light up red. Okay, next, you can go, and let me back up. Basically what that is, is your other button. You got your two buttons that operate your two rams for your automatics. And then you got the other button, which is your side shift, and it keeps your board, um, side shifts your board and stay up online as long as you don't run out of RAM and steer the machine pretty straight it'll do it all for you so this is how you choose you have to choose this in order to for that button to work okay and then you can do another custom offset off of that offset which you would choose custom alignment and it'll open up this and you can go negative or positive um, which would put put another offset right or left of that your red line and you can choose it negative or positive and what it'll do is um, it'll give you another line and it'll look something like this okay well the dotted line is the original line and that is a, a toe slope and I offset it eight tenths to the left so I believe to the left that would have been a positive eight tenths and what I do that for is so that way I can undercut my toe because I'm pulling material up and out of this ditch now usually if you have your automatics on even with your horizontal guidance autos on the edge of your board is gonna follow that line and go up the slope and it sucks this is how you do this. You go over here and you push this cool little button right here. But you have to have the red focus point of the board hovered over the grade you intend to project. Watch. See how I have it over the flat bottom? And you push that cool little button and sorry I'm confusing guys right here and you end up with this awesomeness oh, where is it sorry guys let me find it sorry I got all these pictures all crazy undercutting here we go okay then you will end up from there then you push that cool little button boom what it does is it projects the grade out so that way the edge of your board doesn't follow those lines. Those lines are now imaginary ghost lines, but they're still there. Those big green dots 
I believe that those just indicate where your lines would be, like toe slope. I believe the one on the right would be the other toe slope, so that between the two would be that three foot flat bottom. So now you can shift, you can like shift on all your autos, both rams and side shift. And right now I'm undercutting toe slope horizontal, horizontally offsetted eight tenths over from toe because I'm undercutting my toe because I have to pull material up and out of the ditch. So now I just let the machine do the work. Pretty cool, huh? And then whenever you want to go back to normal plan, you just push that button again. And then also to change your focus point, you got, I believe, I'm not an expert at all this, but this is what I've learned. Um, the focus point is the red at the end of the board. I believe the carrot is the green. Okay, I'm still kind of learning about that, but there's really cool things you can do with the carrot. Like, for example, at the top of the slope to the right of the board, um, there's that two foot flat spot that's finished grade, and then it notches down for subgrade for AB. You can adjust that carrot and set it up on top of that two foot flat spot, and you can inset the custom inset, the carrot, to where the edge of your board hangs over the top of slope to pull the material in and it rides on it, that two foot flat spot grade and projects it all the way over to the left as long as you have both autos on. And it keeps the board, in this case, 35 hundredths, four inches of AB, it, it keeps the board 35 hundredths up off the ground to the far left off the screen where the board would just be riding with your uh, the uh, uh, heel of your board, and that then you step over, and then if you want to cut that notch out, now that flat spot, that two foot flat spot up there, is going to be perfectly flat, because if you were to not use the autos and use that carrot, you would, you, you know, human error, you would dip down to the left, and that little two foot flat spot wouldn't be so flat and it would your line notch that you're cutting your 3500 notch wouldn't be defined so so nicely that's why if you can learn how to use these autos and the technology of this system it is freaking amazing so that being said um i guess maybe that was probably a lot to take in so here how about i explain it all again Okay, horizontal offset guidance. Touch and hold the horizontal offset guidance, what I'm pointing at right there. The vertical offset is the one over there to the right. And I always hold it up a tenth because even if you're set for overcut, it's still GPS always undercuts you. So when I finish, I always hold it up at least a tenth. That way, when it's said and done, it'll be great. Anyways, so touch and hold horizontal offset. Opens this screen. Go down to the bottom where it says select alignment. Choose that. And then it'll open up this screen. And then go over to your blade or that screen and zoom in and select, select a line. In my case, I was selecting toe of the north slope on this particular project and then you can just go with that if you want to select a line but to get really intricate like the stuff I was doing I would go custom custom alignment which will open up this and then I went eight tenths to a foot and the negative and the positive are going to bring it to the right or the left of your selected alignment so the dashed line is your original alignment because see where it's at the toe slope, that's your line. My horizontal offset for my offset <laughs> is the solid red line over another eight tenths to where I would be undercutting the toe of slope. 
because I'm pulling the material up and out for finish work. Then you choose this cool little button. As long as you are holding, you, oh, let me back up. So I don't even know what it's called. I'm pointing at there. It projects whatever I'm still learning. But go up to, and that board with the focus point um, on it, you just touch that. It'll move your focus point to the right or to the left. Touch and hold it. It'll open up a screen to where you can custom inset your carrot. So you touch the very top one, the board with the focus point, and put it on whatever or whichever side of the board you need it to be on in whatever position you're in. In this case, I needed it on the left side of the board because I was parked on the right slope and hover the focus point over the grade you intend to project out and then touch this cool little button I'm pointing at here. And then it will touch the button and then boom, it's going to carry that grade out. Now, if I slid my board over a couple feet and put my focus point on that slope, it's going to and touch that button, it's going to project that slope down into the ground. You know what I mean? If I slid it over four or five feet to the right and touch that other slope, it's going to project that slope down it to the left. So that's why I put it on the flat bottom, hovered it over it, pushed the button and it projected that grade out. Um, also, you can see how I have a green line and a dashed line. That's my vertical offset right now. I'm holding it up a tenth. And then, like I said, the big green um, dots, I think you can get rid of those. I don't know yet. I haven't learned yet. But I believe that those represent a line. You can see the middle of the left dot is the toe slope. And then it looks as though the toe slope for the right slope would be in the middle of the other green dot. Those things are kind of annoying. I don't know how to get rid of them, but, but anyways. And, you know, if you get up on, if you, you created that grade, and now you're going to get up on the slope, turn it off, turn off that projected grade and get back to your normal model and set it, set the care or the, focus point up on that slope and you can project that grade down and undercut the that little three foot flat bottom right there to pull the material up and out and make a clean hinge point that knowing this what I'm explaining right now is the bees knees to this whole system and uh don't forget in the morning to check your uh, your blade wear, um, which you would, uh, here, let me explain that. You would, let's see, how would you select your blade wear? You go into, I believe right here, touch and hold that icon and it'll open up. It will open up. <laughs> Hold on, I'll show you what screen it should open up for you. It should open up. Oh gosh, sorry. Maybe I'll uh, I'll do that in another video because I think I have my my photos uh, unorganized here. Absolutely do. Okay, um, maybe I got a video here I can show you for that. Let's see what we got. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see. I think that this video here.
And I believe that might be how over the flies. So that is how you would do it. Um, and let me back up here for a moment and explain it a little more thoroughly. Okay, so then you would uh, select edit down at the bottom. Um, and then your, uh, let's see, well, let me play a little bit. Screen here. Um, and you want to go to edit. And there's your blade wear. And it'll bring up that, and you use a tape, a tenth tape measure, metal from, or measure from the middle of the bolt to the end, uh, bottom of your cutting edge on both sides a and b sitting in the, the cab b with your be your left side and a would be your right side um so um it's so much better than the first version tremble earthworks version because you would have to usually go and take like three measurements and average it out and it was never always correct on your pass match this system is really awesome because um you can adjust both sides of the board and i'll usually measure about three foot in from the end of the board because the end of the board always rounds so always go to like you know your third or fourth bolt in from the end and make take your measurement so we get a, a true reading and then you uh remember what a and b sides are on your measurement and then you just tap tap where it says uh 0.44 which is four tenths four hundredths um or 44 hundredths you just um if you tap that it'll light it all up but tap it let it light up and then tap it again and then it'll put the cursor to the right side of the last four and then you just hit backspace once and then you can change um, it in this case i think it, i probably wore about two or three hundreds off the day before so i think i ended up putting it to like a, a 41 on one side and 39 on the other side anyways so you have to do that every day at least once or twice a week keep it and a habit to do it every day because when you um, neglect doing that your cutting edge wears out and your grade will get higher and higher and higher without doing it you'll, you'll forget to do it and wear two tenths off your cutting edge in in seven days and then your your grade is two tenths high because the machine is not compensating so it's super important to check your blade wear every day um, Next thing that's important for the system is to, gosh, I think that's maybe all I can, I can think about right now. I will keep, uh, keep posting stuff and you guys can message me. You can get me at tylerpolk at gmail.com, T-Y-L-E-R-P-O-L-K at gmail.com. You can hit me on there if you have any questions. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm not a genius. I'm still learning. Um, I'd love to take pointers if anybody has any insight. Love it. Um, but I'm just here because uh, I look it up on the internet and I can't find hardly anything. I think uh, SciTech and, and uh, Cat got that on lockdown because they have their, their classes that you can go take. It costs about 4500 bucks, but you know it's, this is the way to learn it in the field or, or uh, watch my videos until uh, – <laughs> They get taken down. All right. You guys have a good day.